Hi, welcome to another tutorial by PC Run Easy. My name is Adam, and today I'm going to show you what to do when you load up Windows 8 for the first time and you realize there's no start button. Now, don't panic, it's not as bad as it sounds, they've just got rid of the start button completely. You now have the screen that you're on, which is called the Metro interface. Um, all your things are going to run from there, mainly now. Everything you install will add an icon to where I ask you if you want to, anyway, a shortcut. But, okay, bottom left hand corner, no start button as you see. If you hover there, you know, it's going to show your desktop if you already opened your desktop once, which is here. So you've still got your desktop as usual, you just have no start button in the bottom left hand corner. Now, so you're wondering what do we do? How do I get to anything? Yeah. So, if you take your mouse cursor and put it in the bottom left hand corner, it shows start now because I'm on the desktop, but it, it's not the start, it just takes you back to the Metro page. Which technically is your start button now. Okay. Anyway, move your cursor into the bottom left hand corner, right into the corner, and right click once on your mouse. And it will bring up um, similar options to what you would have had in, in start before. Uh, you know, um, control panel, search, run, disk management, you know, the general stuff. You can access most things from there. Anything that you can't access from there or that you, you can't see that you need, well, when you're on this Metro interface screen, um, if you just type on your keyboard what you're looking for, um, ideally spell it right, <laughs> but search for... Uh, for example, we'll use control panel as an example. You don't need to click on anything, you just type. Okay, I've just typed control in, and that's going to show us the control panel um, or anything that's got control in the name. Let me see. When you type something in, it'll come up here in the right, um, and you've got apps, settings, and files. It will tell you how many instances control appears within each of them and you click on each one to try and find what you're looking for. In this case, I was looking for the control panel, it's in apps, and it's over here on the left. If we just click on it, and then it opens as as normal. You know, point, click, done. There's just no start button. But as you can see, you don't really need it anymore. It's just as easy without the start button. Okay. Um, I think that's about it. I think there's third party programs that you can install on Windows 8 that will bring um, the start button back. Obviously it won't be the proper one but it will be an imitation which will probably contain most of the features or the things that you're missing. Um, but without it, you might as well get used to it. It's not coming back and it's just as easy without. You move into the bottom left hand corner, right click and you've got a few options there, nothing that you can, if it's not um, what you need then just type it in on this screen and that search bar on the side will pop up and you'll be able to find anything else that's installed on your computer. Okay, I've been Adam and this is a tutorial from PC Run Easy. Thank you. If you like it, please rate, subscribe, comment.